you doing? Come on, man. You're gonna sit on the, on the, we have to shoot a video. Come sit by mom. Are you gonna sit on a blankie? We have to shoot a video. Yeah, the whole YouTube world's watching. You don't want, you don't care, buddy. Come on. You're not into social media. Come on, mom. Minnie doesn't use social media. Hi, guys. Steve and Angela here. Just want to say hi. It has been one year, mm -hmm. almost to the, to the to the month. Yep. Has been one year to the month. One year to the month. That we kind of took a hiatus um, from YouTube, not from watching YouTube, but from putting up YouTube videos. And as you can see by the, by the thumbnail of this video, it's about you know running hard for a certain period of time, rewarding yourself for the success you achieved during that period of time, <clears throat> then resetting and running again. And and that's kind of what we wanted to say today is that it's been one year. And, uh, and the bottom tagline in the video said, this is our happiness. <clears throat> you know, we worked really, really hard. We were in California three years ago. But, yep. You know, six years ago, we, we um, I think we launched the YouTube channel or whatever. We did our first video. Had no idea, no intention really of building a YouTube channel. It was just about getting out to our agents about why we were leaving the previous IMO. That's how this whole thing started. <clears throat> and then from there, it kind of didn't go viral, but it, it got a lot, of, a lot of traction, a lot of people's attention. And we realized that there's a lot of people out there that are searching the, in the industry and wanting to know things about the industry before they joined, or they had already joined and were not having success. And they were reaching out to us. And that's kind of how this whole thing snowballed. We never really made a commitment to build a YouTube channel. That really wasn't our goal. So three years ago, we packed it all in. We moved to, to to Florida, where we're living now, in an area called Beverly Hills, Florida, not California. <laughs> Wasn't that even a success? <laughs> um, but again, it was part of it. It was it was the whole idea was, of moving to Florida was a dream come true. We had been we had been vacationing here every year, yeah. and um, uh, I'm just checking my phone to make sure we didn't lose the recording. Um, we've been vacationing every year and we had made a commitment to, you know, that we're going to go back home, we're going to work hard, and we're going to find a home, we're going to move from California to Florida. Because we love the beaches. It's where I grew up. Angela's a water person, so she likes the water, she likes the beaches, and so we made a decision. We, a lot of our uh, insurance conferences were being held down here, yeah. too. So um, we made a commitment to buy a property. We had no idea how we were going to do that. Um, we wanted to be close to the beach. We wanted to have a home with a pool. There's a lot of things that we wanted to have. So we went back to work and continued to, to uh, you know, focus on personal production, but also on the YouTube and talking to agents that we felt like, like were a fit for our team, bringing those people on. Most of them, I would say 99% of them, were uh, unlicensed or licensed and struggling with another IMO. We brought them over here. We put them into our Agent Success Academy. And we worked with them before, during, and after every single sale until they were fully trained. And that produced a couple uh, of elite producers, um, multiple six-figure producers, as well as Angela and myself. And, and a lot of people just doing the business part-time. I mean, not everybody's in this thing to, to, to hit a home run and do it and make three, four hundred thousand dollars a year. Uh, and then, of course, we went through COVID. Went through COVID. COVID. We were already shifting to virtual before COVID. We felt like, as my mentor said, that's the direction the industry was moving even before COVID. And so we were ready for it. And we had we did one year of conference calls um, every single day with two to 400 people on them. All, everybody just trying to carve out how to do this business virtually. And that we learned a lot from that. And um, and so everybody, you know, there's a lot of IMOs out there that, oh, I'm, virtual doesn't work, it'll never work, we're not doing virtual, we're doing face-to-face, -face, blah, 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 you know, all that stuff. And so we really, I believe, were, were the first into virtual and doing it successfully, even though everybody else claims that they, you know, that they did it. Uh, we know the facts, we were there. And out of that, we survived COVID. We made that move three years ago to Florida. Yeah, we signed the escrow papers in our house in California and, with our mask on. Yep. So it was socially just, distanced. Socially distanced, yeah, irritating. Uh, so, uh, and then, so anyway, the point is this video is, is, that, is that a year ago, we decided to live a little bit part of that uh, you know th that reward and our you know th our form of happy you ever watch the movie pursuit of happiness where he walks out of the building and you just got the job with uh, what, was, what was the stock company i, can't uh, remember. I don't remember um i can't remember he put in the comments you remember but he, he, was, he had his arms up he was walking through this crowd no one had any clue what he was celebrating 
But that was, he, he said, this is what happiness looks like. This is my happiness. Because yep. he had accomplished a goal that he, that he set out to achieve. Well, a year ago, we decided to do that. We decided to put down the YouTube. We were a little bit um, undecided about what direction we wanted to go to with the YouTube channel. I was always conflicted with, uh, you know, I don't want really to want another YouTube channel teaching people how to sell life insurance. And, you know, certainly we do that. We do it every single day with our agents. And we can do that and we'll do that with, with this channel. But we really thought that, you know, it's not what the industry is, it's what it does for you as an individual. So we wanted to kind of shift the channel to more of a, uh, you know, living the, li living the life of a, as an insurance agent, a mortgage station, final expense, virtual, <clears throat> excuse me, or face-to-face -face insurance agent, and, you know, show you both sides of it. You know, how to do it successfully, what it takes to get started, what you should be looking out for, what the recruiters are not telling you that you should know before you sign for, with the IMO. Those kind of things will always be part of the channel. Yeah. Um, and, you know, Angel's got a lot of things to share on what she does. She's the, the uh, head underwriter for our agency. She helps the product selection with our agents on every single case until they're properly trained, even beyond that when it's a complicated case. So she's got a lot of nuggets that she can share with you and will, and, not, and also just how to do the the appointment in general but my passion has always been what does the industry give us as individuals as agents you know it gives us three sources of income you know high commissions passive residual those kind of things um, and so I wanted you to see part of that so that was the idea of us taking that year off was we we had hit a goal we never realized never imagined we could leave, leave California the expense it was nearly fifty thousand dollars just to just to make the move yep buy a home with a pool seven miles from the beach and so the last year we've kind of taken time off to support our agents every single day as always keep up our personal production because we firmly believe in leading from the front which means you've got to set the example you can't just be recruiting people and living off their income basically you know grabbing you know uh, piggybacking is that what they mean you put something on their back yep. you know piggybacking off their off their income you know you have to leave from the front Give, give value and that value is training and teaching how to, how to succeed and if you do that you deserve an override you know that's not coming off of their income it's coming from the carriers because you you train someone to be a good consistent uh, ethical producer so um, so we those two things remain personal production focusing our rate on our agents outside of that we were 100 percent involved in you know um, <laughs> working on our home so it's got you know it's got over you know nearly a couple acres there and and you know we never realized how much i'm one of 10 acres you imagine oh, what you an acre and a half is killing us <laughs> you know painting and just making the home ours and then also just you know discovering what florida has to offer taking little trips to, to, to side trips so our spare time was in that area taking side trips to little, little beach destinations all around florida and now it's a year later so um you know, we really wanted to reset the channel. We feel like right now there's a lot of people out there that are looking at this industry again. There's a lot of people hurting because of high inflation, needing a side hustle, maybe not wanting to quit their nine to five, but it would be a very good part-time agent making two to 5,000 bucks a week. You know, we have looked at, like everybody, we we do our research and we continue to look at the things that you look at. You know, we look at, okay, if, you, if you're trying to supplement your income, what are the options for doing that? What are the options for supplementing your nine to five or your traditional job or your existing, you know, sales job or sales position, you know, and everything that we look at, we keep coming back to the insurance industry just provides potential and income and longevity that I don't think you can find in anything else. And it also provides you the opportunity that if you're so looking for that, a, a way to transition careers, you know? Um, and so I think a lot of what we talk about uh, with the channel going forward will also be about how to build this business, um, you know, structured the right way. Uh, you know, if you're the kind of person that is earning zero income right now and needs to make, you know, $10,000 next week or next month this may be a difficult you know a, a difficult industry for you but if you have the right expectations and the right training and the right mindset 
and you couple that with being able to get the bigger picture and look down the road, um, you can have an incredible an incredible lifestyle here. Well, you just said three things that the whole video should. I mean, that's a video in itself. Training, mindset, expectations. Those are the three areas that most agents don't, they don't have a right, and that's right. the reason why they fail. They get in here, they want, they want to get free leads. And look, guys, there's free leads out there. In, in most cases, it's with, you know, uh, if you get free leads, you are, you're not, you're, you're an employee, right? You have to answer to somebody nine to five, not in all cases, but in some cases. And, you know, you can certainly make a living with free leads, but like Angela says, you're going to need a lot of leads, right? you know, and you know there's they've been that passed there's around all lot. over the industry, right? Or whatever. But if they're free, again, what do you get for free in this world? Not much. So if you want to work free leads, understand you're going to need a lot of them, but more than just a lot of leads. If you if you have to work a lot of leads, you need what? A lot of time. And that's where the expectations right. you, you you get get uh, get lost. Is they get in here and they think that I'm going to work free leads. I'm going to work a couple hours a week, make five grand. It ain't right. going to happen. It doesn't work that way. It might it lightning ah. might strike. It might happen once in a while, but in large scale, it will it will not happen. Um, so many sees a bird. Ah. Many sees but, a bird. You know that's like many things in life. We uh, we wanted ah. to add yeah. some. Yeah. Mini girl, it's okay. It's just a bird. It's all right. Come here. You know, we looked at, um, we've been wanting to add some chairs, right? A particular kind of chair to our yard. And so we had looked at all kinds of different things and they were getting pretty pricey. I mean, they were getting up there $700 a chair, $1,000 a chair. Hollywood. Hollywood. Not Hollywood. They'll last, Hollywood. They'll last for mo generations of yeah, lives. Yeah, I'm not going to live generations. <laughs> and so, uh, as is my tendency sometimes, I thought, well, let's see if we could do this on the cheap. Let's see, let's see what a cheap version of this chair would look like. And so I was online, I was on, I was on Google, I was on, you know, the big box stores, I was on uh, Amazon, and I mean, I had found chairs for down as like twenty-five dollars. And I thought maybe I should read the reviews, right? Maybe I should do a little bit more investigating as to why this chair is so much cheaper. And, you know, I read reviews of, you know, I weigh 110 pounds. I sat down on the chair and all the slats broke. Yeah. Uh, you know, we sat, we put the tar chairs together and the arms fell off. Uh, you know, they were, they were paper thin. They were, you know, not what we expected. They didn't hold up. They didn't last a season. And so when we talk about leads, I know that it's difficult for sometimes for you to have that understanding but we'll teach you about that. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about the pitfalls and we'll show you where to get that information so that you know what you're getting when you see things like free leads or cheap leads or, you know, discounted leads, mm -hmm. what you really need to be looking for. Cause that's a really important component to this business. But yeah. that's just one thing that we want to focus on. This and that's show. before the sale. We have, right. we have a whole training called Agent Success Academy, Pathway to uh, Getting Pathways to Success. And, and we and we go work step by step by step by step on you know on training you on the process of selling face to face or virtual and it's different, right? Um, and so and then beyond that, once you get started, we are we are we engage with our agents before getting you ready for the sale, product selection, uh, you know scripts in in the home or face to face that you want to use. And then, it, you know, work with Angela on, you know, once you get in the, in the home, find out what the medical conditions are, what their, what their budget is, what their health conditions are, and then matching that with the right product right. that's in the home or virtually, either one. And then after the sale, getting that application process and, 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 and enforced, right? So many agents send the application to the, to the, to the, to the carrier and think that's it. Uh, you know, it'll kick out the other side. It's not the case. Very rarely does that happen. So before, during, after the sale. So all that stuff is provided for you. Um, you know, once you become an agent of ours, and so I'm not. This is not a video about becoming our agent. We're just uh, talking about that. Mini, Mini girl, what are you doing over there? Come on, the come lizard. On. The lizard will come back. Exactly, come the on. lizards. So uh, anyway, well, I don't want to make the video real, real long, yeah. but we wanted to just kind of share with you what was what the situation is. And I've got a ton of content that we're going to be putting out. You may see me hitting golf balls to my. Like, we've, got, we've got three golf uh, holes out here in our backyard. Um, just. Just living the life of an insurance agent. Yeah. You know, Angela and I, myself, and this is not to be egotistical or bragging at all, but people put numbers on success. So we've, we've managed to make multiple six figures, not on overrides, not on our agency, 
but just as personal producers, and we've got it down to where we work three days a week, basically. Yep. Uh, and we're do we're one hundred percent virtual. Yep. So we work Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, and we're off Friday to Mondays, um, unless somebody can't meet during those days, and we'll do an infrequent appointment, like you have one Saturday morning. Yep. Um, that that's very rare. Those are our days. So we work three, we play for four. Um, and so if you if that's something that appeals to you, then yeah, we're interviewing. We're always looking for good people that fit our fit our our agency.